теперь стоит обратиться к тому, собственно говоря, что из себя представляют локаторы и какие на сегодняшний день локаторы есть. So the history is quite understandable for you all. And now we will review what nonlinear junction detectors there are. How does a nonlinear junction detec uh, detector work? Structurally, the classical nonlinear junction detector has transmitter, with a transmitting antenna, and two receiver. and the indication uh, block uh, with controls and power supply unit. So the receivers uh, are attuned at their own frequencies. Uh, so if we take F0 as the main frequency, uh, the frequency of the zoning signal, uh, so the receiving frequency of the resonance antenna would be, it will be a double frequency of the main frequency. The first uh, receiver would be a, a triple free, uh, main frequency. <coughs> the receiver ha have a very narrow uh, wavelength. And the transmitter has a very high stability. So with this, if we radiate semiconductor, a semiconductor with a base frequency, we will receive third, second, and so on harmonicas. Our receivers will receive receive these harmonicas. Uh, measure their levels, the levels of the signals, and give out the information about uh, whether there is a, a, a nonlinear element present uh, in the search area or not. So, to detect the location of this element, we must uh, have directional antennas. It's understandable. So, the, the first uh, detectors had only one receiver and only showed the, uh, the appearance of second harmonica. But uh, after some time it was understood that it was not very effective. Why? Because nonlinear element is not just a semiconductor. It's all, also a co combination of metal and the metal oxide metal which uh, structurally lo looks very alike, like a semiconductor. But it's a false signal. And we must understand where there is a real semiconductor and the false semiconductor. Uh, the false signal can be uh, corrosion. Uh, 
Composite двух окисленных металлов. Two corroded metals composite. И много еще чего, что мешает работать. And many, many more which interferes with work of the operator. How was this question solved? It was solved with a second receiver. Because if we irradiate a real uh, semiconductor, we receive the, uh, the signal on the second harmonic. Bigger than the signal on the third. То есть вот такая вот ситуация. Это полупроводник. So this is the, in this case this is a semiconductor. А если мы будем облучать мол структуру? If we irradiate uh, MOM structure. То мы получим обратную ситуацию. We will uh, receive a backward situation. Уровень сигнала на третьей гармонии. The level of the signal on the third harmonic will be much more than the signal on the second harmonic. MOM. So uh, for a long time, the Classical nonlinear junction detectors were manufactured according to this scheme, and this scheme is called the classical nonlinear junction detector scheme. Uh, if we are going to talk about uh, the meaning of the free, free, or value of the frequency of uh, base uh, frequency, it lies from uh, 800 to 900 megahertz. Это связано с тем, что в этом диапазоне послушающие устройства на тот момент обладали наиболее яркими резонансными свойствами. So at that situation, the listening devices had the brightest resonance effect. Но со временем послушающая техника становилась все меньше, 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 меньше. But with uh, time, eavesdropping uh, techniques were getting smaller, smaller, and smaller. So if we're going to talk about what we're searching, we're searching uh, not for a microchip, not a, for a micro scheme. We're looking for a certain device that has uh, um, uh, plate. Эти дорожки выполняют роль случайных антенн. This uh, uh, also plate with ways, and these ways uh, ways are working as a certain antennas. Если в 80-е годы платы были достаточно большие, and if uh, in the 1980s the plates were uh, quite big according to their dimensions. Their resonance was uh, lying in the, uh, quite a, a lower area. So they were detected with uh, detectors working at a lower frequency. With uh, reducing the dimensions of eavesdropping devices, the, frequ the frequency should, should be uh, getting higher, and went higher and higher. So uh, the users found out and or noticed that uh, such uh, eavesdropping devices uh, were detecting uh, detected better and better uh, with uh, an older classical linear junction detectors uh, then they started to heighten the base frequency 
на частоте около 900 мегагерц. If first detectors were working at frequency of 900 мегагерц, <coughs> то локаторы второго поколения, созданные по классической схеме, then the second generation uh, detectors were working at they were working at uh, the frequency of 2.4 gigahertz. It enabled uh, to heighten the effectivity of nonlinear junction detector. The second thing uh, uh, which was discarded after going into higher frequency it's uh, the influence of Wi-Fi. The, those who worked with uh, nonlinear junction detector at frequency 900 mega, megahertz already knows that in office where the Wi-Fi router is to work uh, there is impossible. The third uh, harmonica goes through the roof. Because the receiver doesn't receive uh, the signal from a se uh, a semiconductor. But uh, the signal of transmitter of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a very dangerous thing. It's uh, wideband and very dangerous. And it interferes a lot. So the detectors which are working at 2.4 gigahertz, they are not influenced uh, by Wi-Fi. But an, another problem appeared. Uh, the detectors working at 2.4 gigahertz started to, to detect uh, the detection rate was worse uh, of uh, older soliciting devices. Uh, engineers went uh, two ways. First, they started to increase the output power of the transmitter so the resonating ability would increase according to increasing the output power of the base signal. Some manufacturer went uh, overboard. So there appeared nonlinear junction detectors <coughs> with uh, output power of uh, 400 watts, 700 watts. Uh, but can you imagine what happens with uh, an operator working continuously with this uh, device? Uh, there is a, a, a certain joke between the manufacturers. There are detector, impulse detectors, continuous detectors, and Russian. Uh, Russian are those uh, who influence uh, health uh, negatively a lot because they are very, very powerful. <coughs> 